Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. All right, beware of my first guest this morning. He is a triple threat who will charm and dazzle you in an instant. I'm talking about Key West's very own dancing man, singer, and actor, Dennis Highland. He's been heating up stages in the Keys for years. He also heats up stages in New York City. Dennis, it's a pleasure having you on. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be invited. I got to tell you that seeing you in person, you know how TV makes people, I guess, look better? Yeah. You look better in person. Oh, thank you, Fantastic. Dennis. Fantastic. That's You're very heating sweet. It up. <laughs> no, I don't heat it up like <laughs> you. And, Dennis, I'm telling you, the first time I saw you perform, and every time I see you perform, I always leave the audience with a crush on you. So, mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely fabulous. Dennis, tell me your story. Born and raised in Manhattan. Uh, Queens and then lived in Manhattan, went to high school in New Jersey, and um, then went back to an apartment in New York and started dancing and mm -hmm. trying to be in shows and, and singing. And you started at JoJo's Dance Factory. Oh, boy. What was that like? That's one of, that was one <clears throat> of Manhattan's top dance studios at the time. Well, at that time, people had their own studios, so you could take this teacher and then that teacher and um, you really liked the, the style of that particular person. But then the rents and everything and then they went into big studios like Steps and Broadway Dance. But that was the time when you could study with an individual person. He had a great, great following of people and it was really cool. He had a Broadway show called Got to Go Disco, mm -hmm. which was a big bomb. And I remember <laughs> them passing out the tickets in Times Square trying to get people to go to it. But um, he had a wonderful style based in karate, and it was really a funky, great place to start learning how to dance. Did you always know you were going to do dance, Dennis? I always knew I was going to be in the theater, but I didn't. I, in those days, you had to learn how to sing, dance, and act, because the shows went from having the chorus of dancers, the chorus of singers, the chorus of actors, to only having 10 in each, to having, like let's say, 13 people that had to do everything. Mm -hmm. And that was when I was growing up, and then by the time I got to be able to start doing shows, I wound up being a ballet dancer. Mm -hmm. And um, that I did that for the past 25 years, something like that. And mm -hmm. now I'm very much interested in being more of a theatrical person and being on the stage. And Key West gives me that chance. Mm -hmm. Well, you get that chance. And you do have some fabulous one-man shows. I, yeah. love, I love watching all of your shows, Dennis. They're it's a great opportunity to be given that that platform, mm -hmm. you know, and like this is a great, great well, gig. Well, good. I'm glad. I'll, I'll definitely be having you back more. Dennis, you definitely have a unique style. Now, you mentioned that you got into ballet, but you also did a lot of jazz in the past as well. Well, that was the way, you know, dancing for like Vegas and Broadway and that kind of movement was what I studied. And to do that, you needed ballet. And then if I was a girl, I probably would never work as a ballet dancer, but being a guy, it was a lot easier to get work. You know, mm -hmm. they need men, and I had a nice line, and I could turn, and so I was able to do that. And that, that turned out to be an, a nicer lifestyle because you got in a company, and you were with the company for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like, we had the Key West Company, and it's the same group of people. We dance, and I know them all, and it's, you know, it's sort of like a little family. Mm -hmm. How did Key West come into your life? Well, it's interesting. Um, Joyce Stahl's daughter and me were very good friends with um, a friend of mine, Greg King, who, um, we, who had AIDS, and he was a dance teacher, and we all studied with him. And I sublet my apartment so he could come and live in, I had a swap mm -hmm. with, um, with somebody in, in uh, my apartment, my crappy little apartment for <laughs> beautiful little house, conk house, and um, for two years. Mm -hmm. So we came down here, and then he died, and I wound up staying here. Mm -hmm. You just fell in love with it. Well, it's, it's in Manhattan, 9-11 happened, and, and it's just a lot tougher to feel that freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, I get on my bicycle, I ride around, I don't, you know. Mm -hmm. There are police here, but <laughs> it's not so wall-to-wall -wall covered with people watching you and, and all that kind of stuff. Not that I'm doing anything, but that mm -hmm. sense of freedom. Right. Being able to just get lost in the sky, water, you know, mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. I ride my bike and people are like, <coughs> Dennis! And I'm like, ah. <laughs> Well, you definitely have a following <laughs> here in the Keys. People love you. They love watching you perform. And, and you also teach people. Right. I teach at the coffee mill, um, theater dance, sort of, you know. Um, it's a 
class that I teach in New York that is taught at Steps, and um, I teach it down here, and I have permission to do it, and so that's that's it's very fulfilling to me. It keeps me going. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to still go go there ten thirty Monday through Friday. <clears throat> no, Monday and Tuesday. No, Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> Tuesday and Thursday. Those are I your days. I teach yoga at the Casa in mm -hmm. the morning. Mm -hmm. um, on the pier at nine o'clock Monday through Friday so that's the other thing I got to get up for so that's why I don't go out at night mm -hmm. I got a happy hour <laughs> <laughs> there you go now Dennis you've accomplished a lot in your life you've done a lot of shows both in New York and here in Key West do you have something though that you still really want to do for the future um, I have a show at the the studios that is a Billie Holiday um, I'm calling it the Billie Holiday Project, the Billie Holiday Tribute. It's not about her life, it's about her influence on people and, and um, there's videos and stuff in it and it's pretty cool and I want to do that which is like a springboard to this other show that I did in New York at different places, um, La Mama and different places um, that is called Out Where the Blue Begins and it's, it's a show about I guess the spiritual path but people in it don't know they're on that. So it's a sort of a musical, a lot of dance, and um, that's what that's about. And I'd like to get a venue to do that. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit bigger. This Billie Holiday one, first I did my show, which is just me and a band, and now I have the Billie Holiday show, which is two dancers, a video guy, and um, a band. Mm -hmm. And then if that goes well, maybe I'll be able to do another one, which has maybe eight people, you know, bigger. Oh, I can't wait. I'm already <coughs> excited, Dennis. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it together. I'm already thinking about how many crushes I'm going to have on you after I see that. <laughs> I cannot believe you're saying that. You're so no. beautiful, I'm <laughs> telling you. Really. Well, you are so wonderful I and so wonderful. I remember you doing wonderful. Larry Smith. Yeah. And yeah. that was like four years ago, five yeah. years ago. Yeah, a couple Even years more ago. more beautiful. Well, thank you, Dennis. Well, really, it's a pleasure to have you here, and it's always a pleasure to see you dance on stage. I can't wait for the show in December. And I'm going to give my viewers this morning a little taste of your dancing. We're going to show at the very end of, end of the program one of your previous performances. And they need to see it in person, though. I just want to tell you, seeing you, Tom, Raquel, uh -huh. all in the front row when you come into the show, it's so, it makes everybody really come alive, oh. your presence on the scene. And I, I really appreciate it and thank you for inviting me. Of course, of course. It's been a pleasure talking with you this morning. And be sure to check out Dennis Hyland. He's heating up the stages here in Key West. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages.